What is up guys, my name is Andrew, and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 26, and uh, today is hopefully the day that we're going to launch the big ship. But how are we going to do that? Big ship is on Earth, and we're currently in space. By the way, look out how good this view is. From our little base station that we made at the end of last episode, look how good this view is. How are we going to launch the ship in this episode if it's down there and we're up here? Well, our first order of business is obviously to be going to be to get down to Earth, so that's our main goal uh, for the start of this episode. Then hopefully we're going to be able to finish this ship up. And actually, you know what? I may have misspoke. I said we're going to launch the ship this episode, maybe, but I think what we might do is we might finish the ship this episode, then launch the ship next episode. That is my goal, currently, from where we are. So if you remember correctly, the 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 reason we went up here in the first place is twofold, actually. To, first, to create a base, because a nice little base up here is always good, uh, especially if we'll be going towards the moon, which I don't even know where it is. Where the heck is the moon? Let me fly up real quick to see if I can spot the moon. There it is. Okay, so uh, we have a little base kind of between Earth and the moon. It's not really between it, but it's kind of up here, so that in order to... Or if we ever like have to fall back to another base for whatever reason, we have one that's up here. We don't actually have to go back into the atmosphere of Earth to get here. So that's a good thing. That's really good. It's helpful and uh, and that sort of thing. And then the second reason we came up here is all for platinum. And we've actually put a little refinery up here so that we can refine some of the platinum that lies beneath us. We have quite a bit of it down there, actually. And this whole time we've been uh, grabbing some of that platinum and bringing it back. Unfortunately, it's very slow. So what we're going to do here is I've actually got a lot of platinum in here. You'll see. So we've got... 4,000 here almost, and then we've got uh, 83,000 right here. The only problem is if we crash the ship, all that's probably going to go bye-bye because things like to explode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually carry this, all of the refined stuff, which is not, I mean, it's not that much, but it's its still quite a bit. Uh, let's get an even five here, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's take too long. Whatever. We'll, we'll just keep it. Is, is that bothering some of you guys of your OCD? Does that bother you that we don't have an even five here? Oh shoot, our energy's low, that's not good. Okay, let's get the even five. And then, let's get some of that right there. We're gonna take an inventory full of platinum raw, and we're gonna take an inventory full of uh, refined platinum as well. Let's hop in here real quick because our energy is low and I believe that actually refills it. So uh, our goal right now, which is what we're doing right now, is going to be go back to home sweet home. Uh, and this is only the second time I've ever done this before, so this is going to be interesting. Let me make sure I have enough ice. I think we have enough ice. 19k. I mean, it's not ideal, but I think it should be enough to get back here, especially since we've only got one main thruster. So let's start heading towards Earth. Remember, speeds in this are unlimited. Speeds on the server, which I've been playing on a lot, by the way. Super fun. Uh, speeds on the server are only 200 meters per second max, so it's, uh, it's kind of... It's kind of an interesting difference right there. So we've got those signals up there in case we ever need them, which is nice. Luckily, we never ran into space pirates. Those guys really could have come and messed my stuff up, if you know what I'm saying. So let's uh, let's get going this way a little bit. And then what we're going to do is probably we're going to clock out at, I want to say, 400. So 400, turn off the dampeners, let ourselves go a little bit. And we're probably going to, I want to say, maybe when we're at uh, 20,000, we're going to start trying to kind of come come down nicely because that's that's like a decent height i think so oh we got some space pirates over there they are closing pretty fast but i think we should be good they actually have a raiding outpost right there so i'm gonna keep that in mind uh we might want to build a little battleship to actually go in there and try and do something about those guys because they're gonna be kind of annoying especially if we get up here with the big ship and then those guys start trying to mess us up um yeah they're gonna be a little bit annoying our asteroid's gone we can't even see it anymore how far are we at? Uh, 44,000? Okay, that's not that bad. It's going down steadily, which is pretty good. I don't want to go too fast. See, that's one of the problems with the uh, unlimited speed mod, is you can very easily clock it up to something that you can't come back from. For instance, 1,000 meters per second. You'll be going there so fast that, like, 1,000 meters per second is literally every second that, that kilometer uh, meter is going down to the beat of my snapping. Actually, that's not a second. That's like half a second. But uh, okay, let's do a real quick test to make sure that we can actually stop when we want to. So let's aim ourselves about straight up, turn on our dampeners, and yeah, okay, so we're we're pretty good for stopping. That's fine. Oops, G-Force experience popped up for some reason. Oh, because I'm holding Alt-Z, <laughs> G-Force's favorite button. So what we're going to do then is we're going to um, kind of get a little bit closer here. Maybe let's, uh, let's, here, let's tilt ourselves this way. Turn those on for a second. What we want to do is we want to go, oh god, it's hard to see. Tilt down a little bit. We want to get a little bit closer to our base because we are a bit far off. Okay, then tilt back up again. We got to start losing some of this speed before it's too late. Uh, tilt down a little bit more. There we go. That should do it. Oh, no, that's still not tilted down all the way, is it? 
Gotta, we gotta get this right. If we don't, we're gonna crash, which is bad. But luckily, we're, we're fixing things up here rather than worrying about things down there. So let's kind of go to the side a little bit. Get ourselves above our home. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, see, you can never tell if you're... Hang on. Maybe if I look up like this, I can tell. Uh, we want to go... No, not like that. Like this. That's about straight up, isn't it? Or am I dumb? Okay, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well. Let's turn off our dampeners uh, and go to this side a little bit because we do want to get a little bit closer to our base. Actually, you know what? How about this? Keep on our dampeners. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to press V and we're going to go a little bit towards our base. We're going to do a quick little burn a little bit that way just so that we can get over our base very nicely. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, straight up. Press V so that we can get our top-down view again. This ship is so hard to fly, if you guys remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want to go this way. Oh god, we're so far away from our house. Okay, let me let me try one more thing. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna do a quick little burn to try and get over our house again. Go this way. Turn off dampeners. Okay, doing pretty well here. I think we uh, we should soon get above our base. I don't want to spend the whole episode, like, trying to land, because it can easily take me, like, 20 minutes to try and get down there safely. So I might cut right here to, uh, to try and land safely without spending the whole episode on it. Okay, we are coming in here, coming in nice and smooth. It didn't actually take me that long, probably five minutes to land this thing. A uh, little bit of lag there as we load all the stuff, and we're going to have to orient ourselves nicely. Uh, and then we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to back up our way by pressing space, because the controls are a little bit weird when you're flying this thing. Uh, we're going to back up our way towards our stuff, go down a little bit. Uh, we've got to get ourselves to the right height. I'm not too worried about crashing into the ground just because we've got this giant thruster on the bottom, so it's it's not going to, like, screw us up. But let's go this way. We're going straight for that connector, the one we were connected in last time. Um, we should really make ourselves a good, like, a different connector for this because it's uh, it's it's a bit different than all the other ships, but it'll be fine. We're going to have to push forward or something. There we go. Oh, sweet. There we go. Press P to connect, and we are connected. Awesome. How much damage did I do to this thing just by blasting? Oh, yeah. I did a little bit of damage, definitely, by blasting this thing. But let's go ahead and make sure that we are refining the right stuff. And this is a faster refiner, of course, than the one up there. Um, we're not actually getting the stuff in here quite yet, which is not great. Let me throw my platinum in there. I can also throw this platinum uh, right here so that it can be used by this stuff to make more thruster components speaking of which please make me more thruster components uh assembler you guys need to all stop all stop assembler number one you should be making me i don't remember how many i need but it's like a lot so make me like that many and we'll see what we need from there you i want to make sure that you are connected properly oh right we disconnected this a long long time ago okay well let me get some what do I want? Some of you, some of you, uh, some of you, and some of you, actually. You had everything. Nice. Thank you. Uh, so we need to connect this right here. Where's our stuff? There it is. Seven. Go for one of these things. And there we go. Awesome. You should be green now, and then you should be pulling stuff. Right? Yes, you are. Awesome. So you're pulling stuff. How many thruster components did you make, by the way? Uh, th okay, that's what just happened. Oh, dang it, I forgot to turn off my hydrogen thrusters. Hey, you, turn off your hydrogen thrusters, silly. You're going to keep blowing up everything. Um, how many thruster components do we make? That's my question. Thruster. We made 69 <laughs> thruster components. Um, plus 226, plus one. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're going to let that continue to make, and then I'll be right back when that's kind of done. And while, while that's happening, I'll have a quick inventory of the ship, just to make sure we can complete everything this episode. Okay, so at this point, our platinum is refining and our thrusters are being made. The only problem is that it might just take a very, very long time for this stuff to actually get done. So I've got a couple of ideas that we can do in the meantime. First thing that I want to do is I want to go back towards the uh, the ship with our welder ship here. And I want to make a couple things. So namely, we've got our cargo containers already and we definitely have enough cargo space with two uh, large cargo containers. But I do want to make a refinery. So a, a refinery and assembler. So I think probably two assemblers and one refinery will be pretty good for this ship. And if, if for no, no other reason, 
We can use these for, uh, we, like, we can destroy them once we go to make our moon base. Um, once we actually get to the moon. If we get to the moon, which um, hopefully we do. But let's fly over this very carefully. And I've thought about where I wanted to put the refinery. And I'm still not 100% sure. So the, the options are we could throw it right here. But I, I don't think there's very much space here for us to throw this. So, are you connected? You're connected. Are you connected up here? I think you're connected up here. Let me just verify. You're not connected up there. So we, we do still have to connect that. Um, so we could stick it back here. But I think what we want to do instead is stick it over here. Because this kind of seems to be our area of production. We've got our med bay. Um, and it'd be kind of cool to have our refinery kind of um, maybe in this corner jutting out. So our refinery is, what, two by four? So one, two, and then one, two, three, four. So it would be jutting out one spot right here. And then we could have the assemblers like one, two, three. We could have three assemblers. I don't know. Uh, but I thought it's just a cool idea. So let's go a little bit forward here with our USS Missouri. And we're going to see what we can do about that. That's a little bit of a dip right there. We want to be careful. Uh, right here so we don't hit our top on that but other than that we should be good okay so in order to place this stuff let me grab a couple of steel plates because i think that's the main uh requirement for all of these so first thing let's get the refinery uh number five right here what's the most elegant way to stick this i'm thinking something like this if we do like this yeah like that Unfortunately, we can't. We, we don't have enough space to stick any uh, modules on it, but I think it's going to be fine being just a standard refinery. Um, let's go back one more right here. Um, where are your connections? You have one right there. So, you know what? Instead of that, let's do this. Let's stick it like this so that we have our connection available uh, right there. Yep, and then we'll have our assemblers kind of right here. We'll have, we'll have them sticking up. How about? So, assembler number one is going to be, where are they? Is it number four or is that an oxygen generator? That's an oxygen generator. Do we have assemblers somewhere? I thought we did, but maybe I could be mistaken. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing them unless I've already gone over them. So let's go to number three here and we'll, we'll throw assembler in there. Uh, assemble. There we go. Uh, we'll stick it in place of the... Oh my god, we had it right there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're going to stick assembler in place of the current assembler. Let's turn you around so that you're facing this way. We'll go one two like that and then we have room to add more if we want to so for now that's just going to be our assembler so we'll have the the one and the two right there and then we can't even get to that second one can we okay that's fine we'll do like that and then we'll put one in there once we've gotten that one welded so let's go forward here we're going to try to weld this hopefully we can weld it all the way and we haven't forgotten anything looks like we may have forgotten some motors that's gonna be fine motors aren't too heavy um so it's not too much of a of a burden hopefully the assembler does not require motors but it might I can't see what it requires just because of this awkward angle that we have to uh, weld this at. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, it's still going. Yeah, I bet you it requires us, uh, motors. Do you? Yeah, you do. Dang it. Okay, well, let me go get some motors then real quick because um, I do have to finish that first assembler before we can actually build the second assembler just so that we can place it properly. Here's motor number one and motor number two right there. Okay, awesome. Let's back up a little bit, get in the ship, and beep, 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 beep. There we go. Uh, let's throw the second one on here as well. So number eight, same place, and you do have a one in the back, right? Yeah, you do. Okay. Just making sure that it was properly connecting. So first, put the motors on. There we go. And second, let's weld you up, even though it takes a while. Maybe if I use the second one as well, it'll weld faster. Oh, there we go. That's some speed right there. Okay, now we need to connect this with a connector. So let's go back over here. Mm, we just murdered ourselves. We can't help murder, but murder ourselves in like every episode, can we? Poor old body, whatever. Uh, we need to grab a couple of these things because it's time to make some connectors. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to start off with uh, this one right here. One of those babies, just because we might add stuff in the future. So let's hop back in our ship and have you weld the rest of that up. Awesome, you had everything. That's good. So that's, that's now a fully working assembly thing. The only problem is that it's not really connected yet to our other stuff. How could we connect you? I didn't actually think of that, did I? Uh, can you connect back here? Mm, you can't, can you? What we can do then is we can do this. So we're going to just grab... We'll connect it right here with one of uh, these ones, a turny one. And let the uh, ship finish that one up. Ship, are you okay? Do you not have the things required? Are you out of interior plates? You might just very well be. I'm going to have taken all of your interior plates. Uh, that's okay. Next, we need to add a couple of vents. So this right, net right here is our full assembling 
um, set up here. So what should happen is if we throw ores in any of those two chests, uh, since I believe they're both connected, if they're not, then we might have to change that. Actually, I'm just remembering that I think maybe only one of them might be connected, which would be that one, and then that one might not be connected yet. So we might have to change that up a little bit. But if we throw ores in there, it'll be automatically taken and then used in the assembler. Let's uh, let's add some vents. I don't think we have any queued up here or any uh, in our hotbar. So let's go to vent. And for those of you who don't know, who are kind of new to the game, the vent is what you use to pressurize the ship. So we're going to add one there and we're going to add one directly across the room as well. Uh, the more vents you have, essentially, the faster it will pressurize the ship. So let's hop in this and hope that it has the, all the materials. It looks like it might. Does it? Yeah, there we go. Nope. Wait, maybe. Yeah, it does. Okay, it was just taking a while. Let's get the other one as well. Now, the vent will refuse to pressurize so long as it we have their holes in the ship. So currently, there are quite a few holes in the ship. We've got that one right there, and then we've got a couple in the back as well. But once we get our thrusters built, we will kind of uh, remove any of those holes. Um, okay, next thing I want to do is I want to try and get in over there. Not over there, over on this side, rather. Yeah, on this side, because those are not built. So let's let's go all the way out of the ship. How about that? We'll go out of the ship, and then we'll go up and around, because that might be a little bit easier, I think. We'll see if it works. I don't know if we have uh, forward-facing thrusters that are powerful enough to keep us uh, floating. Here, let's let's double-check this side, make sure this side is all done. Um, yep, that's, over, that's done over there, and that's done over there. Okay, so let's check this side as well. And I know I saw one that wasn't done over on this side, so that's why we go here. Yeah, so we might be able to get those top ones, but we might have a little bit more trouble with the, uh, the bottom ones. So let's kind of try and maneuver our ship in there and weld this baby up. Okay, that one got done. Uh, you should be done. What are you missing? Bulletproof glass? I could have sworn we had some bulletproof glass. Oh, well, I guess not. We'll have to go back for some more bulletproof glass. Is that everything we need on the ship? We've got the refinery. We've got the assemblers. We've got vents. We've got... Uh, we need the thrusters, obviously. We need the windows done. But I think that might be it. Oh, some of this stuff as well. Let's... Wait, these aren't steel plate blocks. No, they're not. These are thruster blocks. Okay. I think that might be everything that we need on the ship. Let me double check comments as well, just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything that's obvious. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've double checked comments, and the only thing that we are forgetting is... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? That's another thing we're forgetting. Um, let's do this first. We're forgetting lights, first of all. So let's go ahead and add some lights in this baby. So let's put this one kind of in the corner right here. We're going to throw another one adjacent... Not well in the adjacent corner. So like this one right here, we'll put one in the corner this way. There, we'll put one in the corner this way. Well, we can't really put one that right there, can we? Uh, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> um, maybe we put them on the walls. No, you know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll put them right there, one off, and we'll do the same on this side, just because of like OCD or something that resembles it. But uh, let's put these. There. Why do they always turn on me? I don't. I don't understand lights. Okay. Then let's go. One, two, step. I love it when you one, two, step. There we go. I don't know if you, any of you guys know that song, but uh, yeah, <laughs> old song. Um, okay. So let's do that on this side as well, just so that we have our OCD basis covered. So yeah, this one over here. Oops. There we go. Get this one right here, so we'll get the uh, this one right here, then one, two, click. Uh, I guess that's middle, so one, two, click right here. Awesome. Looking pretty good. Now let's weld these babies up. Actually, you know what? Before we weld them up, I've got a couple more I want to place. So we've got the one right here. Let's do one there as well. We'll do the same thing right here. And then we'll have uh, one, two, three, then one. So we'll do the same on the other side right there. Awesome. Uh, that's the wrong way. See? See what I mean? They always turn themselves. They're weird. They're weird. Lights are always weird. I don't know why. Okay, let's start welding these things up. And what we're going to have to do as well is we're going to have to um, change their radius so that they shine a lot brighter. Because lights, by default, don't like to shine very bright. Alright, well, that one, that one, that one, that one. And we're going to put ship, uh, lights... Well, you know what? I'm going to do the lights and then I'll come back and show you guys because I think it might take a little while. So I'll be back. Here we go. Finally, it looks like someone is alive in this ship. I mean, look at this. We got the lighting blasted to max. Not really. We just turned up the radius quite a bit. Um, so now it looks pretty awesome. 
Uh, and outside it looks like it's completely dark, except for that little bit of green over there. But let's go and look at the ship while it's lit up. So we've got lighting in here, so you can see everything. Uh, a very bright cockpit, making it very difficult to see outside, by the way. Um, which is probably a flaw, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, the whole ship is very bright, so no longer will you be standing right here and not be able to even see what's over there. Uh, you'll now be able to see everything, so that's pretty good. Uh, we've got lighting all the way down there. We've got lighting in here. Everything's lit up. It's awesome. I, I mean, so there there are two lights that aren't actually uh, built. Like, I forgot where I placed them, and I didn't actually finish them. And I don't really know where they are, and I don't really want to go hunt for them. Or maybe I will. I don't know. They're not down here. Uh, they might be down here, I guess. If we go and look down here. Nope, not down here. We finished those as well. That's another thing we have to finish, by the way, is that door right there. And probably have to add a button panel uh, there and here as well, just so that we can access that but yeah I don't know where those two lights are that we uh, that we totally forgot to do because these ones are looking all good let's go and see if our thruster components are all done because I really hope that they are so that we can get this thing done it's almost done the ship is like 99 98 maybe 98 percent complete um, and then after we get the thrusters all we have to do is seal it and we should be good to fly honestly um, minus a couple of things that we still have to like put in for instance, we need medical components uh, times 15. I don't know if we have those, so medical. Yeah, we don't have those. So if we go to production, we can see if we can build those. Um, we're down to 349, which I don't know. That's within the margin of error. That's fine. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we have enough. So let's go with medical components. We'll go. We need 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Throw those right here and ask them to make them. Hopefully they can make them without a problem since we do have more nickel. Oh, shoot. I forgot the nickel hang on refinery finery nickel go first platinum you're next um just we just need the nickel for these couple medical components and then we'll be fine so uh medical really it hasn't even started making them yet production what are you missing oh you need a lot of nickel okay that's fine well i'll, I'll just wait for the nickel then and we'll be yeah that'll be good you know, here's one other thing that we almost forgot to do. In order to make this place actually airtight, we need to um, turn these all into those, pretty much. So, all these nice little conveyors that we have need to turn into bigger conveyors. Which is, uh, our inventory's full, so that's all gonna fall. But I'm not too worried about that, because we can go and pick it up. Listen to the... What the heck? What is that sound? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it sounds like the whole ship is exploding when I drop those things. That's crazy. Okay, let's place these all down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we, might, we might not be able to place this one because we have some stuff down there. So let's go ahead and make this one. Then we should be able to pick up you guys. Build, 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 build. That's what we're doing today. You guys like my song? It's not a very good song. Uh, yeah, place one right here as well. Not that. I don't know why it reverted to that, but whatever. Can I get through that? No, unfortunately, I cannot. Let's go up here and place this. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to actually head below deck in order to go and get all these stuff that we dropped. I wish there was a faster way to grab all this. Maybe I can hold F. Does that work? If I hold F while I drive... Oh, yeah, that works, actually. So hold F, and did any of this stuff get away? Yes. That's what that sound was. All this stuff was coming down the stairs. And you too. A couple motors here. And a couple stuff up there. Awesome. Where's this stuff? There it is. All right, I built that one. And I think we only have three more. Two more. Okay, yeah. Uh, one more. Crap. Uh... You're out of construction components. Drats. Okay, well, that sucks, but um, let's go and return with the ship. We'll come back and weld the stuff that we need to weld. Oh, shoot. It needed way more thruster components than we built, didn't it? Oh, I think it needed way more. Yeah, it needed probably, like, thousands. Dang it. <laughs> I thought we were almost done with thruster components. We're going to have to add probably, like, 3,000 to the queue, and that'll be done. Platinum, 400. Do we have enough? I think we might. It's just going to take forever. So, okay. Here's what we'll do. I've decided. I've made my, my decision. Um, 
we're going to finish up most of the ship this episode. This episode, we're going to have the ship 99% done. The only thing that's going to be left is going to be adding the components to the thrusters. And, and then the ship will literally be done. So uh, we'll make sure everything else is built and the ship is all ready to go. So that next episode, at the beginning, what we'll be able to do... Okay, we're falling. <laughs> Don't press F. At the beginning of next episode, we'll be able to load these thruster components into uh, these things. And then from there, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and take off. So let me see if you can like, yeah, see we, dang it. I thought we were almost done with thruster components, but in fact, we were making way less than we needed to. Okay, well that that's fine. I mean, it's okay. We're almost done with the ship anyway, and next episode we will be done with the ship. And next episode, hopefully, we'll also take off. Uh, oh my God, the ship is so bright now. I don't mind it, it's pretty good. Okay, let's go forward. We're gonna try and hit that uh, med bay over there uh, because we have 15 medical components for it. And then after that, we'll travel along the outside of the ship to try and get that thing that we forgot. There we go. Med bay is now functional. That's one incredibly important piece. Let's go below deck. So we're going to have to go outside first with this thing. And then we'll come up and go below deck. Oh, skirt. What is this? I forgot some stuff. Actually, you guys will be useful. I can probably use you guys to go and make you. Can't I? Yeah, there we go. So I don't actually have to go around with that. But we do, we do still need to get that exit area. So let's go above. Orient ourselves the correct way. We'll go up and out like this. Those look like little X's over there. Then we'll go around all the way to this. What we're looking for is what's down here. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it on account of these thrusters. Um, Okay, we might have to actually do this one by hand, unfortunately. So let's hop out of here. Can you make like a mini welder ship? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's hop out of here and we'll grab some steel plates first. Because I'm not sure what it needs, but it probably needs those. Nope. Small steel tubes, motors, and computers. We have these things. Uh, so that's good. Small steel tubes. Right there. Motors. Right there. And computers. Right there. Awesome. That should have you made. Now that you're made, let's hop upstairs to make sure that this one's made. It is not. It requires construction components, small steel tubes. Okay. Luckily, I believe we have these things right on board our ship. Construction components right here and small steel tubes right here. And then actually there's one other thing that's like right next to the reactor that I want to build as well that I had forgotten, um, which we're going to need displays for. But while we're here, let me just go and make sure. Let me verify what we actually need because uh, I know we need computers. So we need displays, interior plates. And for you... More computers, displays, and interior plates. Okay, that's fine. Displays, interior plates, and computers. Those aren't that heavy, so it's not that big a deal for these. Okay, displays. There are they are. Interior plates. There those are. And computers right there. Let's grab some more interior plates as well. And that should have everything. That should be everything we need for this. Weld you up. There we go. Got that nice little <laughs> fake control panel, but it still looks cool. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's double check. Do we have everything built? Um, while we're here, let's go ahead and I don't have any steel plates, do I? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and fix this hole up, since we're here. So steel plates. Grab some of those. Uh, actually, we can throw back all this stuff because we don't need it anymore. We'll grab as many steel plates as we can carry. Which is that many, I guess. And we'll plug up this little hole right here. Because this hole is only here for us to fly into when we had to actually work on the ship. So let's go that, that, that. Uh, one, two, three. We have one more here. And then we go outside real quick. Make sure. I want to see if, uh, if that goes. Does that go to the side of it? It goes one, two. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So it goes like this. Weld these up. Sweet. Oh, we need to weld this, don't we? Um, crap, we need interior plates. <laughs> it's everywhere I turn. I see like one or two things that we've just forgotten to weld. But that's good. We're discovering them now before we're in space. Because that would be bad if we were in space and then discovered them. Interior plates, we need these things. And motors. Oof. A little jump there. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna wind up killing myself again by accident. Okay, right here... We need to connect this up. So we're going to start with one of these, just a standard straight piece. We're going to go with another standard straight piece. And you guys are all way connectors, so that's good. And I think we're good, so that should be connected now. OK, 
connected all the way down. And then I believe you were connected to that thruster. Uh, we'll find out at takeoff if that was indeed connected. And if it wasn't, then we can go ahead and fix that. So quick double check. Are all you guys, well, we still need to add the skylight, but that could be the last thing that we add um, since we might still have to add the ship in here. Are all you guys welded? You're welded. Nice little battery. Mm, let's go on this side. Is everything welded? Uh, yeah, it looks like you guys are all welded. All the windows and everything. Uh, what are you? Ion thrusters? Okay, that's fine. Yep, everything's welded over there. Let's go directly across to the other side and make sure that all this side's welded. I don't think we welded this stuff, so we still need to go ahead and do that. Uh, what do you need? Girders? Oh, you need everything. Girders and bulletproof glass. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, everything looks welded over here. Let's do a quick check of the underside of this. Make sure everything's welded. All you guys are good. We've got the batteries, which are empty, so we're going to have to like throw uranium at this thing. Uh, I think you guys are all looking good. I have a little unwelded block up here, which we can go ahead and weld right there. What do I hear? I think we got one of the glitches. It's weird because I've got like I've got directional earphones or surround sound, so um, it's actually coming out of my right ear. So that's why I just kept turning around trying to see where it is. But yeah, that's yeah, the glitch. Audio glitches have been happening so frequently in this game for me, so I don't know what it, what that's about. But everything up here looks welded. Okay, that's good as well. Definitely good. Um, and everything right here looks welded. See, I'm wondering if we want to add like a door here. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Throw a door in there. Do we have a door in our queue or did we close it? Door. So we're going to get one of these. I think these are all airtight. So large step right here. This is an airtight door. We're going to put it right in place of the landing gear, I guess. Put it right here. So all we need there is displays and bulletproof glass, which we have. So build that up right there. So it's airtight. Awesome. Now we just have to make sure that we don't open this door unless that's closed. So, yeah, because that's not that's not in itself an airtight door. But uh, yeah, so we fine. Go to our ship. Grab some. Do we have bulletproof glass? We don't. So we're gonna. It's only armor, so it's not really a big deal for us for that. But it's the last one. Actually, do we still have the hole in here? Yeah, we do. Okay. We'll have to make sure to plug that up before we take off. But. It's looking good. There we go. Just lacking bulletproof glass, but it can still open and close. So that's good. All right. I think everything's welded at this point. Um, yeah, I was right. We only have this one connected um, to that cargo container, but that cargo container is not connected to anything. So we might change that. We might not. I, I haven't really decided. Um, I think let's go down stairs. Yeah, everything down here is good. That's good. Yeah, okay, the ship is pretty much ready for launch. The only thing we need is a couple of these things right here. A couple of these armor blocks that we haven't welded yet. And then we also need a couple of the uh, thrusters, which we haven't gotten yet. What are you, a hydrogen thruster? Well, we might have metal grids on us, actually. Let's uh, see if we can do that. I'll see if I can hook you up with some metal grids, my boy. Large hydrogen thruster. No, we didn't have enough. Sorry, buddy. We'll come back for you a little bit later. It's okay. Um... How many steel plates are we carrying? 200. So we should be able to get all these up and running then. One, two. I don't know. I'm counting. There's no need to. Get these ones. Ah, we're out of steel plates. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to end the episode right there because I think the ship is pretty much in ship shape. No pun intended. Uh, because it, you know what we want to do? Actually, l let me mark this for the next video as well. Just before we take off, we're going to add a gyroscope or five. Uh, we're going to fix up these thrusters and then work on that and then fix all the holes. And that'll be the end of the ship. The ship will be built and will be ready to take off. I think it's really coming along. It's really almost there. It's been, what, 15 episodes? 15 to 20 episodes just working on the ship and it's almost there finally. So that's pretty awesome. I'm super excited for when we finally take off with this thing. Even though it looks a little bit derpy on the bottom, it's going to be super cool and we're probably going to crash. But... That's okay, because it's all fun and games until 15, 20 episodes of hard work goes down the drain. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it'll be good. Yep, that's our launch date. Next episode. 
Well, if you guys like this episode, hit the like button, put your comments down below. If you're not subscribed already, feel free to go ahead and do that. It's free. Um, also, if you want to check out the, the Discord, there's a link in the description. Uh, that's also free. <laughs> Come hang out with us, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we launch the ship.